Remember when I was cadet, I was up here on a cadaver search. Instructor gets on the radio to say, we're looking for one body in particular. <laughs> if you go grabbing everyone you see, we'll be here all day, he said. <laughs> Leakin Park, where West Baltimore brings out his dead. Leakin Park and the adjoining Gwynn's Falls Park are part of a 1,200-acre tract of parkland in West Baltimore. Named after Shepard A. Leakin and funded by his grandson, J. Wilson Leakin, the park opened in 1941 at the location of the Crimea Estate owned by former railroad magnate Thomas Winans. The park contains the Gwynn's Falls Trail and many historic buildings, including the Orianda Mansion. However, the park has been known to contain some things that do not belong there. Leakin Park earned the nickname the largest unregistered graveyard in the city due to the fact that an astounding 71 dead bodies have been found there. For a time, the most famous body ever found was that of Eugene Leroy Anderson in 1969. Anderson was a member of the Black Panther Party who was suspected of being a police informant. It is theorized that he was killed by his own brothers in the party, however, no one has been formally charged with the crime. However, these days a new victim has been back in the spotlight due to the popularity of the 2014 podcast Serial. Heyman Lee was an 18-year-old student from Woodlawn High, just a few miles up the road from Legan Park. She was murdered in 1999 by her ex-boyfriend, supposedly in a Best Buy parking lot, and then dumped behind a log 127 feet into the woods off of Franklin Town Road. Due to the extensive documentation by serial creators and fans of the podcast, Lee's burial site is easy enough to find. A line of concrete jersey walls and at one time a bullet riddled sign, which has since disappeared, helped mark the location where her body was discovered.
and his route to the college is through Leakin Park. He stops on Franklin Town Road. There's a small pull-off and some concrete barriers, and he walks back in there quite a ways. Right at the place where Mr. S had entered the woods, right at the road, Justin noticed a sign. It said, this area patrolled, dumpers will be prosecuted. But you could barely read it. It's hard to read a sign that's covered in graffiti and pierced with seven bullet holes. Seven feet back into the woods, there was a fallen tree, essentially a 40-foot log, lying more or less parallel to the road. On the other side of the log, if you'd kept going, you'd have gotten to a stream with the unfortunate name of Dead Run. Hay's body was buried right behind this log on the stream side. The state contended that Hay was killed between 2.15 and 2.36 p.m. at the Best Buy parking lot about a mile from Woodlawn High School. But we have now seen two anecdotal reports that there was a payphone inside the vestibule. We did get a look at the 1994 architectural plans for that Best Buy. And indeed, on the plans, there's a teeny little rectangle in the vestibule on the left as you walk in, labeled payphone. 